Now in this video we're going to come back to looking at uh, logic gates for this video series. We're going to look at the NAND gate. So this is just a demonstration circuit. Probably would never make a, a practical circuit like this. Might make one similar, but uh, unlikely. But in any case, we have a couple switches here. They are off. They're both off. The LED is on. You can see how power can go through that uh, 330 ohm resistor. Top of the switch is always connected. Long lead the anode, short lead the cathode going there. We can... Uh, close one of the switches turn it on the LED stays on so that's our second case uh, both off one on the other one off and then our third uh, case the other one on well that one is uh, off and the LED stays on only way to turn the LED off in this circuit is to turn both switches on when you get a good connection like that and coming back here, we have the schematic symbol. So this is an AND gate right here, if you ignore that dot. Uh, both inputs have to be high for the output to be high. Otherwise, the output's low. But in any case, uh, if the output's high, I'm talking about the AND gate now, not the NAND gate. We have this inversion bubble. So a high output for the AND gate is a low output for the NAND gate. Otherwise, it's high. You can see the true table here. If any inputs are low at all, the output's high. Every single input has to be high for the output to be low. So if you see a symbol like this, hopefully there's a part number within it, but uh, they probably expect you to use an integrated circuit, which we're going to cover in later videos. And uh, also, um, so when it comes to the NAND gate, this is probably the most important uh, logic gate out there. And one reason why is because uh, the way this uh, works, you can combine NAND gates to make any other logic gate and all kinds of other circuits uh, that you want. It's a universal logic gate. So is the NOR gate, but I don't really see people combining those very often to make much. Usually it's a NAND gate. But in any case, this is a quick video series, so I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching.